PiNet is a collaboration of industry, politicians, and academics seeking the development of the hydrogen economy across the northwest of England to reduce the amount of carbon emissions coming out from industry and our households. The corridor that we operate in here represents something like 3% of the UK's total energy, so that's very, very significant. Hynek could reduce the carbon footprint throughout the whole city region by 25% per year. And that's about 10 million tonnes of carbon that would be emitted into the atmosphere. The key partners of the Hynek Consortium include carbon emitters such as CF fertilisers, and Hansen Cement, hydrogen producer Essa Oil, Cadent, the gas distribution company, and Ineos, who will provide the hydrogen storage. So, how will it work? Hynet is a project that combines hydrogen production with carbon capture and storage. Natural gas will be converted into blue hydrogen, and the carbon dioxide byproduct will be removed. This CO2 will be combined with carbon captured from other industrial processes in the region and safely stored into depleted gas reservoirs in the Liverpool Bay. The hydrogen will then be distributed via a new network of pipes to industries as energy and feedstock, local authorities and transport networks, and in time, it could be used to provide heat and energy to homes across the region. INEOS's role in the scheme is to provide storage to balance out the supply and demand for hydrogen. At a storage site in Cheshire, INEOS is testing the viability of storing hydrogen in old salt caverns. As part of the HiNet project, we're developing a 19 cavity storage project capable of storing 1.3 terawatt hours of hydrogen. Each cavern is about twice the size of the Albert Hall and is capable of storing about 50 gigawatt hours of energy, which is roughly 50 times the largest uh, lithium ion battery storage project in the world today, which will allow the HiNet project to balance the supply and demand of hydrogen to its customers. Hydrogen is the battery when it's stored. So when you've got generation of gas, when you're not using it, the sensible thing to do with that hydrogen is actually to store it. Now, when there is excess demand for that hydrogen and you're not producing enough, and of course you can draw upon that source to distribute to industry, to households, to transport. Hydrogen is a very safe gas. In much the same way as natural gas, it needs to be kept in the pipes and, and used responsibly to heat our homes, to allow us to cook. And the same applies for commercial operations, shops, businesses, factories. They can all use hydrogen in much the same way as they use natural gas. The initial market for the hydrogen will be local industries like Encert, a company that manufactures 40% of the UK's glass bottles, requiring a lot of carbon producing energy to fire their furnaces. We take in raw materials. We take in also a lot of recycled glass that's being collected and reprocessed locally. We then need to put those materials in a furnace. They are in the furnace for about 24 hours before they come out as a new glass bottle. And during that period of time, we use a lot of energy in the process. The big challenge that we fully recognise is how we decarbonise our carbon footprint. As an industry, we've looked at many alternatives over the years. We think hydrogen has great potential to replace natural gas in our furnace. We don't think it's the complete panacea. So our plan is that we would increase the amount of electrification we have in the furnace. We would seek to replace as much natural gas as possible with hydrogen. And it's not just industry who will make use of hydrogen. Liverpool City have ambitious plans for decarbonising their bus network. We're putting hydrogen infrastructure into all six districts of the Liverpool City region. And then later on in the year, early next year, we'll see our hydrogen buses come on stream. We've got really ambitious plans with central governments to look towards a fleet of about 2,000 hydrogen buses. And these are zero emission buses. So for those corridors in the Liverpool City region that have got air quality issues, these are the exact solution to the problem that we face. In October 2021, Hynet Northwest received UK government backing 
and is now in the final stages of planning and consent and aims to have hydrogen flowing to customers by 2026. HiNet is important to the region to allow industries to continue to operate in a low carbon future. We're really excited about the opportunity that hydrogen presents. Our target is that uh, we could reduce by at least 80% on one furnace. I think that um, if we could employ carbon capture technology, for example, you know, could we be carbon free on a furnace for the first time in the history of glass? I think Highness probably the most exciting project that's come across my desk in the last nearly four and a half, five years. This is something that we can achieve and would have a huge beneficial effect on the air quality, on climate emergency, on reaching our targets to be net zero carbon by 2050. This is of global significance. It is an absolute game changer in terms of removing carbon and transitioning away from using fossil fuels. If we can substantially reduce our emissions in my generation, I will feel much better about passing on a world that's much better for the next generation.